It's really common to see him around these Grails Groovy conferences. Hello, Graham. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. You're giving the, the keynote here about Grails, and you're also give, uh, giving a talk about Grails. Which are the news that comes with, with Grails? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the primary new feature we're announcing is RX GORM, which is part of Grails 3.2 and GORM 6. Uh, it's a new reactive um, non blocky implementation of, of GORM, which is the persistence engine within Grails. It uh, is built on top of RX Java um, and allows application developers to build completely non blocking reactive applications using Grails framework. Uh, or not using Grails for making uh, because GORM is also an independently, independent project separate from Grails itself. Uh, in addition to that, we're releasing a new version of uh, the JSON views, which allow you to define your uh, JSON responses in a REST application in a uh, nice DSL designed specifically to allow easy customization of uh, mm -hmm. your JSON output. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of new features in there as well. And uh, we're announcing new support for AngularJS and AngularJS scaffolding in particular. So you can generate an entire AngularJS front end that interacts with the Grails backend using one command, um, making it simple, easy for developers to get up, get up and running uh, with Grails framework and AngularJS. OK. You are also talking about GORM here, ins and outs. Uh, which is the topic uh, of this talk? I mean, what are you going to talk about here? Well, I think um, most of most Grails users know GORM at a very much surface level, so using it as the from an end user perspective, but not not as many will dive into the uh, internals and, and really understand how it works um, and how the traits uh, that uh, GORM provides interact with the, their user code um, to provide to to allow GORM to do what it does. So it's a deep dive talk that's going to take um, attendees through the internals of GORM and help them get a better understanding how, how, how GORM works and how and making it easier for them to debug applications and understand their, their code base. Okay, so thank you and see you around. Thank you.